Hi, this is Gary Gold and welcome to Voodoo Agent. And today I want to talk about promoting yourself. If the idea of promoting yourself doesn't sit well with you and you're a real estate agent, you have made a serious vocational error. We all own these little companies and that we're our own little businesses. And if people don't know what we do and know that we do it well, uh, you're going to be broke no matter how good of an agent you are. I know plenty of people that are so good at what they do and nobody knows. My coach Tom calls it a secret agent. So now promoting yourself, you don't have to be Kim Kardashian. That's not, you don't have to take it to any extreme like that, even though there are some very extreme people in real estate who do crazy things and they've done well with it. But you might just have this hundred people that you are their agent and a hundred people you're promoting to. Uh, every time you send some, like when I send somebody a marketing report of what I've done on their listing, this marketing report has got more style and more finish than most people's advertisements or most people's websites because I'm promoting to my client. Every time I get on the phone with someone, I'm not in there promoting myself, but I am, let's, I am representing, let's put it that way. Um, now with me, I am very well known amongst a very small group of people. Um, outside of that, no one knows who I am. Uh, I have a thousand people that I send, um, uh, this, I use something called BombBomb, Bomb, which is unbelievable. We'll talk about that in another episode. But I send videos via BombBomb, Bomb, and I send it to my sphere of influence. I also post things on Facebook. Now, for me, I don't want to post every, you know, if I had a tuna sandwich, I am not going to take a picture of the tuna sandwich. I, no one gives a shit about my tuna sandwich, okay? and I think it gets a little obnoxious. I like to, to post really quality content, really relevant content. I don't send out generic things, five ways to make a panini or any of that crap, or the, you know, the best home neighborhoods to live in. It's always organic to me. So I have a very genuine, organic you know, presence, and that's how I do it. But you've got to figure out who you are and how you want to be portrayed, and on a consistent, this is key. There are some people who, are, their, their marketing is horrible. I know several agents that have the worst kind of marketing image you could ever imagine. However, they're really consistent. They've been sending out postcards and advertisements for 30 years with their crappy promotion, but they're so consistent that they're successful. Now, the holy grail is if you've got quality content that's consistent. But even crappy content that's consistent is better than nothing. So I have been really guilty of wanting to be so quality in my content that I never get around to doing them and being really inconsistent. That's the loser of all losers. So number one, consistent, and then number two, quality. If you can have the combination, unbelievable. That's where I stand. I don't want to send out garbage, so I've just made the time to, and I've really gotten comfortable now who I am and what I'm promoting and how I'm doing it, and it's really working out well for me, but it took a while for me to get that. But you just aren't gonna succeed on the level you wanna succeed if you aren't in one fashion or another promoting yourself and putting yourself out there. So my assignment for you is to just reflect on what you're doing now and what can you do better or how can you do it more consistently and figure out how you can get it into a system. If it's not a system and you have to think about it, you're not going to do it. You've got to get something cooking. Thanks, and I'll see you at another episode. Take care.